Oh, hey, good morning. Hey guys,、uh, this is Nigel from Fukuoka, Japan, and today I've got a 2016 garden update part two. Things have gone absolutely crazy with the garden tower, and all of my raised beds in the concrete buckets with the grow bags is gone off the hook. It is time to start harvesting some of these peppers. Actually, I've been taking some already and putting them in some chili last night. <laughs> And、uh, so, yeah, I gotta start plucking these off, and I really wanna show you what's been going on. A big change from about a month and a half ago with the first video. I'll put a link right up here. And、uh, that one was pretty good. That was taken, you know, about、uh, I think around mid May or so. But now things have gone absolutely crazy. We've had rain for about a week, and we finally have a beautiful summer day. And now it's time to show you what's going on. Okay, guys, it's garden tower time. This thing has gone absolutely berserk. It goes all the way up to about maybe nine or ten feet tall. I probably planted a few too many close together, but let's just take a look and see what's going on. Look at that. We got some beautiful tomatoes. We got a gigantic eggplant that needs to be plucked today. We're gonna be eating that guy.、Um, over here, absolutely love these guys. This is the first time I started eating them last night. They're called Serenos, very popular pepper that's produced, I believe, in Mexico. And a good friend of mine, Carlos,、um, actually told me you just eat them raw, and、uh, that's how they do it in Mexico.、Uh, down there, we got some oregano, which is flowering. I、uh, got some kale, which is、uh, doing pretty good, considering he's sitting in the main sunny part. The lemon balm has done very well. A couple are dying, could be some bugs in there. On the bottom, we've got some mint and some beautiful thyme. And over here, we got some strawberries and rosemary. Strawberries in the summer, for me, don't really do very well.、Uh, it's kind of a hard thing to grow. Basil doing its thing, going absolutely crazy. And over there, we have some sage and different things. And look at that. Hopefully, I can get the camera in there. We've got some nice jalapenos which are ready to be plucked. Hence, the video has to be made. Okay, so there you have it. The garden tower is crazy.、Um, I would probably not plant three of these together next time. And、uh, there you can see it. Absolutely amazing.、Definitely、this is the six pot pepper garden. It has probably doubled or tripled in size, I think. This is a purple jalapeno which was topped right there, if you can see it. And what happened after it got topped, it produced about six or seven new branches. And each one of those、uh, branches is producing peppers. Very, very, very happy with the topping. Um, normally, you would get the traditional Y joint, which you see over here. This is the Y. And then, you know, you get、uh, the crop producing on the top up here, very bushy sort of style up top up here. But what happens with the topping is it gets really, really bushy, and then it produces all sorts of different stems. And in those stems, you've got, you know, lots of peppers. Guy in the back, he doesn't get as much sun. If I can get in there. And he,、um, he's slowly growing. And that is an Anaheim 64. Over here is a Ancho. And、uh, this thing's gone crazy. In the back, we've got a purple jalapeno. And I don't know if we can get that on the camera there. We've got a beautiful jalapeno ready to be plucked. Over there, there's about 10 or so that are producing more peppers. Back there, where there's another early jalapeno. And one of the coolest seeds from my good old buddy Craig there. Is the Hungarian hot wax absolutely huge? I think it's time to pluck it. I mean, that thing's huge. Woo! Very cool. All right, this is the main raised bed. This has approximately 12 bags, and we've got two tomatoes, a couple of cucumbers in the back. Tomatoes are ready to go, those are all juicy.、Um, this is a cayenne, and the cayenne did get topped. I will point to where it was topped, right there. And then what happened again, same thing. One, two,、uh, any more? Three. I mean, there's probably about four main branches that went from there. And in here, we've just got cayennes growing everywhere inside here.、Uh, this will probably blow up in the next、uh, probably week or so. In the back, we've got a beautiful Hungarian hot wax. 
Ah, uh, let's just go for it. Let's just pluck it. Oh yeah. These things are about 60,000 on the Scoville. I might be wrong on that, but I believe they, uh, they're quite, uh, quite spicy. Um, this is a uh, traditional habanero, and the habanero was topped. Uh, it might be hard to show where it was done. Yeah, right in the middle, I topped it right over here. And look at that, it is getting super bushy, six to seven stems doing its thing. I can see it's gonna be producing peppers very soon. Here we've got a Thai chili. Now the Thai's done something really, really weird. The Thai shot straight up from the bottom all the way to the top, and then it produced this Y joint, you know, probably about 60 centimeters, you know, towards the top. Don't get that, we'll see, hopefully it works. And over here, we've got a ancho again. Ancho is looking good. We've got lots of those growing right over there. Okay, moving around. More tomatoes. Tomatoes over here. Looking good, looking good. And finally, we've got a cucumber, which is uh, ready to be plucked. There you go. You don't wanna grow your cucumbers too big. They get too seedy and I don't know. It's, it's not about the size for me and uh, cucumbers. <laughs> All right, that looks good, that looks good. Okay, coming up next, we've got a cayenne, which is just chock full of peppers. Um, I believe the cayennes need to turn red before I'll start plucking them. But uh, yeah, they're looking really good, those cayennes. And over there is the artichoke. She got replanted from the grow bag into a plastic bucket. And uh, it's doing quite well. Uh, over here, my herbs got blasted by the sun and they didn't do very well, so they're not really enjoying that location so much. Uh, we've got a Swiss chard from the winter, still doing its thing, just producing like you wouldn't believe. And that's that crazy Thai chili, just going straight up. And it's got the Y join at the top. It's a really weird one. Over here, lots of Anaheim 64s. All the flowers are uh, coming off, not coming off, but they are producing. Uh, inside there. Uh, this will do very well. Last year I did a great six pot garden in here in these small, you know, what is this, one to two gallon bags down here. And had absolutely no problems last year. Over here had some extras and uh, these guys have probably doubled in size. Looking super, super happy. Um, over here we've got some cayennes. Beautiful cayennes. Loving the cayennes this year. Just gone crazy, the cayennes. And purple jalapeno, and we uh, have the Hungarian hot wax, which we know is gonna do very well. And this is the runt of the litter. These are the guys that I didn't know what to do with and thought, well, let's just put them, you know, on this tray down here. Look at this guy. He was literally the last one of the year and I didn't have the heart to throw him out. And look at him. He's doing absolutely awesome. Serrano's doing good. And over here, check this out. We've got purple jalapenos. Woohoo! Look at those suckers. Gonna probably let them get just a little bit bigger. But isn't that awesome? We've got purple jalapenos growing absolutely everywhere. And over here is the Swiss chard from hell. And uh, don't know, I guess I'm waiting for the seeds. It might be ready, let's see. I think I can pluck it for a seed. Let's take a look. I think the seed is almost ready. It's getting super hard. Yeah, I think we could probably use that as a seed. Not too sure. Maybe I have to start plucking these pretty soon. And how's this? We've got a blueberry tree, which was bought from Costco for only $25. And we have to start taking all of these blueberries off before the birds hit it. Uh, one thing that uh, is really interesting, last year the blueberries were only about half the size, but this year they are about double. And uh, they are delicious, I tell you. Absolutely delicious. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> ah, this is kind of a funny one. Down here, this guy didn't look very good. And uh, Grandpa took this guy, threw him in the dirt. <laughs> And the purple jalapenos are producing straight in the dirt. Just a little bit of fertilizer. And they went crazy in there. And uh, here you go. Just put two in a bag. And we've just got some uh, Anaheim 64s. Just growing in front of the house here. As you can tell, we've gone pepper crazy. 
All right, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the update on the garden. I'm absolutely happy. All the raised beds have been producing tons of peppers. Uh, I've got about 35 plants growing this year and it's gonna be a huge harvest. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, please just leave them down below the video and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.